Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co host, Brian. All right, buddy. And we're joined by Brett. What's up? We are here to talk Bachelor in Paradise. This is season eight. This is episode 11. This is Tuesday night of the Monday, Tuesday block. Uh, definitely better than last night, guys. Definitely better than last night. What I will say is, and I had my notes all lined up. I had the episode ready to go because we had the Genevieve and Aaron fight and it was going down to the wire. She had the bags rolling out. He was only casually walking after her and she stayed. I mean, I guess congratulations, guys. But man, <laughs> that took the wind out of my sail. I had reactions ready to go. And, uh, you know, but love prevailed. Uh, Brian, your reaction, then Brett overall. Yeah, I was ready to come in here and kind of like kill Aaron a little bit. Uh, but it just, yeah, it, it's a dud. It's just another like questionable move by production. They should have left it on a cliffhanger. I think people would have been talking about the episode all week, waiting for Monday. For I just sure. think it's something that they kind of mishandled there. It would have yeah, been I agree. a jersey. I mean, I think... oh, go ahead, go ahead, Brett. Jersey Shore what? I said that would have been a Jersey yeah. Shore edit, though, for sure, yeah. because that was teased in last week's trailer. Mm. And if it didn't actually get resolved this week, that's a Jersey Shore edit. Mm. Well, I feel they, in the trailer for this next episode, too, I feel like they showed more drama. So I feel like they probably rehashed this drama and she does leave or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I thought she was going to leave for sure, whether they cliffhangered it or not. Um I, th I definitely thought she was overreacting, but I also thought Aaron was just being an idiot about it because you can tell she was overreacting. So just like, don't feed into that. Um, like, I kind of agree with what he was saying, but I also just think it was dumb in the situation of when he's like, oh, I'm not ready to talk. So when he hesitated. And yeah, that was to Dude, just talk more. <laughs> you know why? Because this isn't a real relationship. Yeah, yes. Thank you. If this was a real relationship and this was like your serious girlfriend or your wife and even vice versa, if you're being a jerk or something, your partner or you would just talk to the person and just like even apologize, even if you don't fully mean it. You want to diffuse and right. he doesn't know and doesn't care enough about her to diffuse it. But then they end up saying, I love you. Like you said, Brett, I don't know where this goes there. It's a it's always a fun stretch to see couples like this. And then three weeks from now, they'll end up being engaged. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm rooting for them and I was happy to see that they made amends because it's really annoying to see people have a strong bond and just throw it away for stupid shit all the time. Um, it just sure. kind of makes you feel a little bit hope hopeless for yourself and me going on the show and having to deal with that crap. Cause I don't have a very high tolerance for BS. And uh, I feel like Genevieve, she's the kind of girl that is used to having all the attention on her. So when there's that little bit that she's not getting, um, she's just going to get mad about it. No, I agree. I'm looking forward to see what goes there. Um, I want to do another major storyline for some of our existing um, the kind of original uh, beach goers here. Guys, uh, I asked this a little bit the last few episodes. I'll ask it again as this as storyline has evolved. Team Justin or Team Rodney? Rodney. Brett? Uh, I'm definitely Team Rodney. I agree with what they were saying about Justin being um, kind of arrogant. Also, like the dude left already, so I think it's BS that they brought him back. You can't be bringing the guy back, man. <laughs> he, yeah, he lost the game. Like the BS about that, like, I came back for you. and the BS, dude, you already had another relationship with Genevieve and things that fell apart. Like, Rodney has rode like, really. I mean, he had what the lace thing for like a week. Like that was obviously not like a real relationship thing. Like the cup Eliza, of coffee. That I, was I, like I, a okay. I'll give you a shot. You know, yeah. we'll see what how things happen. And it just wasn't natural. And then once he found someone more natural with, it just he moved like, on. I guess this kind of feeds into my biggest gripe of the episode. Um, this is Eliza, and this also goes for the crap with Kate. I'm sorry, and people can disagree with me in the comments. Let me know. I, I think it's very patronizing that they're, they're blaming all this stuff that you didn't tell me not to go on these dates. Like, I, I, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty positive that if the other way had gone and they told him, I don't want you going on these dates, I have a connection with you, they would be like, no, like, it's not fair. I want to explore my connection. You got to explore your connect. It's just BS, right? Like, am mm -hmm. I wrong? Like, no, I wrong? you're not wrong at all. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I, that shit I'm bothers me so much. You're not a mind reader. I was going to say, say that's, yes, that's, we're, 
the dudes are 0 for 2 on not telling the woman how they feel and that they want them and don't want them to go. You know, they're trying to, they're they're not trying saying to be the they nice guy. Them. What's that? I don't think they're saying that they don't want them. They're just saying, look, I, it would suck, but yeah. I'm not going to tell you're not allowed to go. Like, I think that's like the most real world thing someone does on this show, right? Is be like, well, yeah, we've only been together for two days. I don't like own or control your actions. Like, I, I think and, that's a note to self. I'm going to start telling women what I want them to do. And um, if they don't want to do it, then I guess they don't like me that much anyway. But if they like me, then it might work, I guess. At least that's what these girls are trying to allude to. Yeah, you just got to do it on paradise. Yeah, and real quick, if they said, I I actually think if they did exactly what they said without telling them, they would have been annoyed at that as well. I think it's just a lose-lose. No, It it is literally what I was saying. It's a lose-lose. For sure. No, I agree. Um, Hayden came. Knock off grocery store Joe uh, from Rachel and Gabby season famously kicked off of the season. Also fame. Uh, if he was the rough around the edges comment also saying his ex-girlfriend was hotter than both Gabby and Rachel. I doubt it. Um, also, I tried to look was, couldn't find her. <laughs> yeah. This was also the <laughs> classic. The dog was also the dude who, and he, again, it came up multiple times during this episode that he's obsessed or was obsessed with his golden retriever. Um, is the dog dead? No, the dog no, is alive. So. Okay, dog's still alive, apparently on a respirator or whatever the hell. It's probably getting stem cells as we speak. Um, this guy spent over a hundred thousand dollars on his dog. Um, I Brian's a default. Brian doesn't have dogs. <laughs> I mean, Brian. I can be an echo chamber here. I love dogs, but I'll, I'm gonna go let Brett go, and then I can just get all my right. Is it all right? Is it weird to spend over a hundred K on your dog when you're not wealthy? Unless he's like generationally like millionaire 10. Like, yeah. Know. I mean, I think, I think it's super weird. I'm probably the wrong person to ask though, because I think the entire world and girls obsession with dogs and this guy's obsession with dogs is completely ridiculous <laughs> and really annoying to be honest with you. Um, when, when I talk to a girl and one of the, her leading personality traits is her love for dogs and animals. It's just very much a, a, a disconnect for me personally. Love so this. it's not nice to, you know, like Thank your you, animals Brett. and stuff, but when it's, yeah, the leading thing is just kind of, I love my dog. My dog is staring at me lovingly from the guest bedroom bed right here from where I record. But Moose, I don't think I got a hundred K for you, bud. Yeah, I, I, I don't I, think I, I'll be that mad. I think I've said on this show many times, people that hold animals equal to human beings like kind of piss me off. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Um I do I have something in my personal life where that happens to me on a daily basis and it it really it drives me insane. So um, yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Like these, like just the, and also it's just more of like people care more about dogs than like we. All these people in the world are like homeless, hungry, all this other stuff, and we care about animals more. And I, I, I'm not saying I don't like animals. I love. I have a dog. I have a family dog that I love. But I mean, we're all everyone in my family. If we're not paying a hundred thousand dollars to save the dog for a year. Or not yeah, for a yeah, year my siblings are in that boat they kind of like if they watch an animal get killed in a movie they'll cry but then like they're fine watching people get killed <laughs> so. yeah this is not the podcast for people who are gonna they're gonna they'll, come kill me i don't care so the question is does hayden love his dog too much answer in the comments this should be an actually a little fun debate i would want to hear this one um put it on the really what put it on the poll Oh yeah, put it on the poll. Um, Justin and Rodney, we talked about this. I feel bad. The twins, twins, Basil, uh, Gold Justin, Silver Joey, aka if you're a reality guys fan, Crab and Goyle from week one of Gabby and Rachel's season. They also got eliminated with uh, the other magician who was Draco Malfoy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking when they did the gold and silver, I was thinking like Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like so, choose your start. Like, choose your silver, choose your starter, choose your twin. Gold Justin and Silver <laughs> Joey. Um they're 24. I did get a little annoyed for them if I were watching this right now. A lot of people that were like, I can understand like Michael A making fun of them for being young, maybe even like Shanae, but like some of them that were making fun of them are like only a few years older than them. Yeah. It's like they're not babies, yeah. like stop it. They got bigger, they got looks like they hit the gym. I would think so. I think it probably yeah. makes sense. Um, GTL baby, hell yeah! In that Italian blood, 
That date was cool. Though. I will say, I was actually really. I wish I could have done that. Cantina games at Delaware, man. That that uh the margarita the margarita uh bike. That margarita sweet. bike was cool. Um, I didn't like the armpit licking. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious after um, after she licked it. She's like, "Oh, kiss me!" I was a joke. He he just went in for it. I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, I see." You boy. This classic college man. This classic college. Somebody throws up and you just kiss them. <laughs> Both twins have a chance to maybe actually make a week, which would be really, really funny if the twins survive a week, if Crab and Goyle make a comeback from the Chamber of Secrets here. Oh, yeah, I was super the- shocked, but to hear both the girls basically say how they felt about him, especially like Shanae, since she already yeah. has a connection. Because like, you couldn't really game. tell when they were playing the games, like that connection, it just looks kind of like childish and fun. But like, I don't know, like, I wonder if he's going to get the it, Rose now instead of um, Tarzan. It yeah. is going to be interesting going into Monday. I hope we get the rose ceremony Monday. There's a lot of ones in the air now, um, which I'm really looking forward to. Check out all of our other coverage of everything else we have going on this week. Survivor, Amazing Race, The Challenge, uh, Love is Blind, Season 3, Week 3. Have a lot of engagement on that. Also, look out for some coverage of The Surreal Life and uh, a lot more. But uh, for myself, Brian, and Brett, thank you. Peace.